All right, welcome back to Fallout 4. We're on our way to Somerville Place, having just explored... Which vault number was this again? The 95. So we just had a bit of a break from this game. Actually, the, probably... The, yeah, I think it's the biggest break we've had from this game so far. Because of Christmas! I was very busy for a few days, and... I'm on it. This is the one series in particular I'm usually recording an episode every day and putting it out the next day. So I don't get much backlog. That's what, that's what daily does to you. So, oh, right, we're heading vaguely east. So, to, as a recap, we're still on our roundabout path to uh, collecting the last of the hollow tapes, the winter hollow tapes, for our friend over here and his uh, and his personal quest. And this our recent travel has started us way up here. Kind of just went over to Fort Hagen and just sort of started curving along the edge of the map, along the edge of this radiation zone over here, with our ultimate goal of uh, visiting. I think there was one up here, and one around here, and one around here, or something. So we're just, we're just taking the long way around. And along the way, we're discovering a bunch of locations. Now, back when we took the castle for the, uh... I keep on saying, not the Brotherhood. Not, is it the Militia? The Minutemen. So, the Minutemen or Militia, I always mix up which, which if it's one of those or the other one, because... They're so similar of names, basically, and concepts. But, uh, whoever they were... Uh, yep, settlers, allies, that should be Somerville Place. Uh, we, when we got the castle for them, we got notification that this place was going on. There was some sort of trouble happening here, so I figure I may as well st uh, stop on by on my way through. Looks like it's another potential location for a settlement that we can get, and they probably just have a quest. It's probably a generic quest where they just send you in some random direction, too. So... I guess we, ha I guess we need to talk to their leader, because it's just a bunch of random people right now. It's probably this guy over here. Find whoever has a name. Letters don't scare me. I'm sure you. Do. I'm sure they don't. Excuse me. Excuse me. I minute, just wanted right? to stop by, offer my services again. What seems to be the problem? A pack of feral ghouls have holed up nearby. Your mind. Some of them have started wandering out lately. If more of them start wandering out this way, we may be overrun. We need someone to clear them out. Are ghouls a common problem? Yeah, there never seems to be an end to them. I guess there must have been a lot more people before the bombs dropped. I'm on it. It's as good as done. I'll be glad to have them gone. Alright, yep, as expected, it's more or less a generic quest. Where is it sending me exactly, though? Over here? Let's just check the uh, quest. Somerville Place. Is it, is it giving me a specific location for Ghoul Promise Over Real Place? Kill the ghouls at Soulfolk County Charter School. Where is that exactly? Let's see, check, take a look at the map here. Coast Guard Pier. Oh, there's the Charter School. Hey, it's right on the path to where we're already going. Cool. That's convenient enough. Alright, we'll just head our way over to the east then. And along the way, at the school I was probably going to check out anyway over the course of this episode. We'll also take out the ghouls to make these locals a little more happy. At which point they'll probably join our organization and I'll have one more... I'll have one more location that we can use. Is that a safe? Hello? A novice safe. Why'd you even bother getting a safe then? Might as well just leave it out on the floor. Yes. Granted, it did outlast your entire, uh, house or whatever you had here. A little too well. Oh, shut up. I definitely find myself wishing that the NPCs would just not talk in this game. Probably a mod for that, actually. Because, uh, they don't have much of a- they don't have much dialogue to say. And man, do they like to repeat that dialogue they don't ha that they don't have very much of over and over again. Yeah, I'd, lo I'd love to find a mod that probably already exists, frankly. I haven't checked recently. Uh, I'd like to have a mod that only has their contextual dialogue ha happen. Like, when they have dialogue about the specific location. I like- I think he had specific dialogue about the blood place when I went to that. And that was kind of cool. I want those little hints, but I don't want dialogue of, uh... I don't really care about dialogue of, of me lockpicking. Got him. This is silenced, right? Yeah. Anyone else? Hello? Oh! Feral ghoul. Can't even see what, where, what parts of him are where. Oh! Got the kill. Good enough. There's a stalker. Come on. Oh no, he's alive! Stop being alive, there we go. What else do we have? Oh! Did that thing again where I, I uh, vat against nothing. We may be in the clear now. Let's check out this, this uh, building. 
It'll also prove to be a vantage point for further shooting. Any traps? No trip, no trip lines in sight. Oh, I'm hearing footsteps. Yep, we're, under, we're about to be under attack. Oh, hello. What are you? Excuse me? No. Get out of here. Okay, this nightmare is going to have to stop right about now. What the hell is this thing? There we go. Now it's taking damage. Now it's taking damage. It, I, wasn't taking, I wasn't doing damage a second ago. I must have been hitting something that doesn't get hurt. Alright, how many Mirelurks? Oh, there's a lot of them around, aren't they? Alright. Uh, best moonshine. I'm just gonna loot for a bit. I may, be, I may be best off just leaving. Why did I grab a pipe pistol? That was a pointless endeavor. Hello, stove. Oh, anything in there? Nope. Thought there was something around the corner there. Alright, I think I know why there's dead people around here. Whole, whole building got wiped out. Bottle jack. I mean, bottle cap. Oh yeah, these guys were cam this guy was camped out on top and waiting to die probably because of how shitty the animals are down there. Where are you at, buddy? Hello. Shell. Is there a specific weakness? Head. I'll go for it. Good job, character. You nailed it. A zero percent success rate. All right. Where do you Where do you go? You disappear on me? There you are. It's very hard to see when they're cover when they're filling your screen with slime. All right, let's just go rapid fire mode. Come on, somebody's got to hit him. Come on, come on. There we go. It's one last target. These guys are a little obnoxious. Where's the other one? There he is. Oh, he's further away. Makes him a little bit hitter, easier to hit, but damn, is he not freaking durable. Where'd he go? Oh, they, co they cover ground kind of fast, don't they? Oh. You're being very rude, little creature. I have to ask you to fuck off. I cannot tell what's happening on my screen a little bit right now. <laughs> When there's enough, when there's enough slime on it and shit, and you're trying to s shoot the little head in there. Where is he? Got him. God damn, did he do damage? That was very close to being dead right there. Multiple times. Come so, with there more stim packs than I'd like to, but we have plenty of those at this point. All right, Myra Lurk. Boring items on them. I guess we'll just continue forward. Oh, here's something. Maybe there'll be something cool over here. Oh, hello. Hello. Burn textbooks, you can keep all those, but we- there's, a uh, Drug items, at least, and microscopes. That's bound to fetch something. Someone was sleeping in there, they keep ma a mattress back there. Very specific place to find a mattress, so it was probably placed there intentionally. Some of the ghouls we wiped out. Oh yeah, ammo and Radaway, I'll take that. I'm surprised a bottle of Radaway survives on a ghoul corpse for that long. And yet, they somehow became a ghoul. Questions abound, right? Alright, there's a building over here. That's probably the middle school. At least I would think so. Oh, no. That's a train station. That's a train. That's not even close to what I thought it was. Hello. There's some nice silhouettes. Alright. An entire forest burnt out by explosions and collapsed rail... Is that, are those uh, train rails or supports for something else? Could be some kind of pipeline. Could get a vantage point. Alright, we're still mostly on our path. Want to go a little more north than we are right now. Hello. Uh, guess who's tired of Mirelurks? Your soft shell Mirelurk. I don't really feel like dealing with any Mirelurks. Hey, I'm heavily armored and mostly stand still, and you can very. Cl oh, Scorpion. You know, let's just crouch a little bit. I feel like that'll solve a lot of our problems. Yeah, I'd rather fight humanoid enemies of machine and fleshy varieties and, uh, and zombie varieties than fight the uh, various wildlife creatures in this game. They're just very durable. That's they, get, they get to be a little bit of a hassle. Hello, structure. It's like a grill out here. Anything cool? 
Nope, not much going on here. Sucking down a lot of rad sticking around here. You got a concerningly fast reaction to that me say me getting like five rads. Oh, Boston Bugle. I'm surprised that's even it's underwater. I'm surprised that's even a solid piece anymore. It's probably been there forever if it's around skeletons. Turpentine. Just loot a few things here and there. Oil can. There we go. Let's check out what's upstairs. This this probably has something worthwhile nearby. Hopefully not a glowing one. Hey, skeleton. How you doing? You seem like a jolly fellow. Not much going on here. Alright. Hello, toy. Table knife. No, maybe nothing interesting here at all. Probably should have not stopped crouching, though. I'm gonna get unwanted mild look attention. Alright. Just get to shore before I suck up more rads. Oh, hello. It's a Yaogwai. It's a dead Yaogwai. <laughs> that was more effective than I was expecting it to be. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Back upstairs we go! Alright. That was unexpected. Where the Agawai at? I was not expecting them to be in a pack. He just looks like he's dancing right now, frankly. You having a fun time, mister? Mr. Robot? Where the Yagwai at? Hey, Yowie. Where you at, buddy? I lose you? It's over here. Oh, there's a Yagwai. Hey, friend. Headshot. Headshot. Oh, no. He found me again. He found me again. Alright, a little bit of healing here. Is there a window up here I can use? Yeah, there is. Hello. Hello, friend. How you feeling? Feeling good? Look at him running away. I'm gonna shoot him in his butt. Ah, a little hard to see through here, actually. What am I- am I being stuck on something? Where's he at? Oh, he's coming back. Booty shots! I can just imagine the comment now. You're not being fair to that bear that's trying to murder you. You have zero percent chance to hit the cor this says in the corner of the screen as he's d as I'm nailing every shot. Thanks, game, for your advice. I'm glad you decided to choose to give your input then. Never mind all those times that I had a zero percent chance to hit and you claimed otherwise and let me waste my shots. But now you're t telling me that I'm gonna waste my shots when I won't. Is he over there? Oh yeah, he's over there. He's over there. I wish there was a fast-forward button to let you fast-forward slightly without canceling out of this. Oh, well. Oh! You got him. I was gonna re as he was coming nearby. Alright. Some Yagwai's out of the way. You garden anything cool? Ooh, stim packs. There we go. At least they're nice enough to replenish the supplies that they waste. Also, that guy had a... Uh, he apparently had a bottle cap shoved up his ass. So that's fun. That's probably why he was so angry. I mean, I'd be angry. Let's not let's not test that one. <laughs> There's a whole flooded out society here. Well, not really a society without the people, and this is a bear society. The bear necessities and all that. Probably all named Barnaby. It's the only name they learned. Anything around? Come on, you gotta give me something cool, right? I'm exploring. Oh, burnt textbooks, don't give a shit. Uh, drinking glasses. Oh, hello. Sweet, sweet booze and alcohol. I mean, boo booze and drugs. Wrong words. I know what I'm talking about. Mailbox. Oh yeah, this looks like a place to check. Turpentine. You can keep the whiskey for now. Hello. Oh, that's not safe. That's- that's locked over there, though. No, it's not. It's got stuff in it. Jet? One of these days, I'll actually start offloading all the drugs I have and selling them. The funny thing is that once I get back to the vault we visited before the- well, the second most recent vault we visited at this point, uh, they're probably gonna guilt me for giving that guy drugs, but it's- it's just amusing to me, because in their little cherished society, 
that's such a big deal, but in a in this open world that I've been in for all this time, that is just such a normal thing to just like just buy and sell drugs all the time. The number of drugs I've used in this gameplay in this playthrough is like, eh, whatever. And uh it's actually had I've never been addicted yet, so it's actually had no negative effect on me so far. Besides being blurry for a moment sometimes when it wears off. So the, the game systems that I've encountered so far don't actually facilitate there being the kind of sympathy and drama related to the uh, inevitable drama they're going to throw at me if I go back to that vault and they're all like, you made, him, you made him die by being addicted to drugs! How could you sell him a product he wanted? Everyone knows that it's when you come into our vault, you're supposed to babysit our entire society and be responsible for everything. Everything's your problem because you're the player. We got another helicopter nearby. Hello. So long, pal. You're friendly, right? Yeah. Where's the bad guy? There's the bad guy. Oopsie. Stop. There we go. Barrel, huh? Oh, come on, man. Try a little harder. You can do it. I believe in you. There you go. You did it. Alright, so this is the location of their ghoul problem. Some rads around. Ooh, trash can. Let's check that real quick. Nah. Yeah. All right, let's check out this charter school. Let's get right up in there. Oop, combination wrench. Probably has like springs and stuff in it. And in we go. I'm just hoping there's no glowing one, but there's always a glowing one. Hello, this place is way bigger than I thought it would be. Okay, I guess it is a school, but it just didn't look like that big of a building from the outside. Didn't exactly look that closely. Hello, feral ghouls that are probably all alive. Are you dead now? I hope you're dead now. Sorry, folks. He's dead now. Oh shit! That that was a little shocking. Um, um. Personal space, personal space, personal space, personal space. Oh, good shooting text. All right. Grabbing does. Why? They have so many weirdly specific. Where are you keeping that baby rattle? I'm sorry. What? I'm, a little, I'm just kind of concerned about that kind of element. Plastic pumpkins, I'll take those. Plastic's not bad. Let's see. Nope. Ammo. Always happy to find. Oh. Food paste. Gross. I'll grab it. Why not? <laughs> Sounds like fun. Oh, what's that? Oh, gumdrops. You can keep those. Alright, let's learn about this place. Sweet. There's nothing in that terminal. It just exists. I think that's the first completely empty terminal I've encountered so far in this playthrough. You can see holes through here. Can I see enemies, though? Not at the moment. Hello? Hello? Uh-oh. This works way better when I don't miss. Oh, wow. Did I just miss three times in a row? Way to go, me. Not that it's an option. Really showing off my superior play style here. Alright. Debris. Ooh, holotape. School announcements for October 18th. Good morning, teachers and students. It is another great week here at Suffolk County Charter School. I hope everyone is getting their costumes together for the annual Halloween festival. I would like to take this opportunity. To remind you that no outside food is to be brought on campus as of this week. This goes for faculty as well as students. We have received generous donations for our implementation of the Nutrition Alternative Waste Program. We owe our benefactors strict adherence Got it. to the rules they have set forth. Got it. Alright, Principal's Terminal. Which probably has a button for unlocking that thing. Yep. I didn't have to hack it or anything. Oh well. Principal Hudson, again I thank you for your school's willingness to participate in the Nutritional Alternative Paste Program, GROSS, or NAP for short. You and your students are doing a service to this country by helping us push the limits of our knowledge of food and nutritional science. During the period of this program, nothing but NAP should be served to the students. No outside food should be tolerated on student on school grounds. We will be sending scientists periodically to observe the reactions to the NAP and ensure proper testing conditions. Non-compliance will result in funds revoked, so please make sure your faculty and students remain obedient. Dr. Jared Gibson. <clears throat> so that's very creepy. 
So we found the food paste. It was a creepy pile. It was a creepy pile of uh, pink paste that was all nasty. And so far, every uh, every enemy we've encountered is a creepy paste monster. So the implication seems to be that this uh, this goo is somehow influencing the transformation into being ghouls because they all look like the goo that we found. And they are just everywhere. So this is just an all-around bad sign for people. Dinner fork. Just taking a look around. Flip letter. You got something for me, baby? Huh? Nothing around. Alright. Checking the stalls. Not much going on here. Anything in the garbage? Not this time. You freaking out on me, level? I saw loading air. Oh yeah, the whole floor is freaking out in that room. Yep, there it is. Look at that floor loading in and out. Oh, they try. They try. <laughs> so I wouldn't be surprised if the, uh... Something about the radiation... Like, something about the nap made them more likely to, to turn into ghouls when the radiation struck instead of just straight up dying. Anything in the garbage? It's also pretty creepy that they're running... They're doing, uh, experimentation on children in this capacity. I wouldn't be surprised if vault was somehow in, in, involved in this one, too. Because they are just the universal... They are just the universal scumbags of this world. And if it's any, if it's anything like Resident Evil, then you can just ex you can expect the, the game's equivalent of, uh... Hello, Century Bot model. You can just expect the game's equivalent of, uh, Umbrella to just be the people that are secretly behind literally everything that ever happens. If it's anything like that. Anything cool stashed about? Wouldn't expect a lot of traps around here, because the whole place is pretty full of these things that seem to be tied to pre... to pre-fallout uh, stuff. So there probably hasn't been anyone going through this place the whole time. But apparently these ghouls are just starting to get out. And hey, to the game's credit, for once it's at least a local location. It's be it's a fairly common complaint in this game, and it's I think it happened at least once to me already too, is that... uh. You will totally end up in environment situations where the uh, the game will be like, "We're totally getting attacked by this location, these ghouls over here," and then you get the location on your map, and it's like that's the opposite side of the entire game map. It's like, how are the ghouls becoming a problem for you? Gross. The food paste is. What's freaky is that this is all pre out. It's it's all pre radiation. So the fact that it's just perfectly whole like that just shows how messed up the uh, the whole uh, paste was. I wonder if we're gonna get any feedback from this uh, teacher complaint later letter draft. This, so they're getting ready to type this, send this letter, and they never did. Principal Hudson, I'm sorry to ask, but what? But where has the integrity of the school gone? Forcing all teachers and students to consume nothing but flavorless pink goo is inhumane and demoralizing. Food is an avenue of socialization for our students' growing minds, and they're growing restless of the paste. If nothing else, I am sure you have noticed the growing rate of visits to your office for misbehavior. Also, I could almost swear everyone seems a little bit pinker after a week of eating this stuff. Please, I ask you, I ask that we terminate this mistake of an experiment and find alternative funding opportunities for the school. Mr. Smith, English Department. The, the quirkiness of all these locations kind of makes me wonder what happened with the main story of this game. Because the main story of this game is so self-serious so far, and the, uh, the world of Fallout is so silly. And that's because it's so heavily influenced by Wasteland, uh, because they made Wasteland first before they started making Fallout games. And the fact that I'm playing Wasteland 2 in parallel kind of just shows, like, the similarities between what they're going for in world design. And just makes me question how, like, wh why this- why this game ever gets overly serious, basically. But the the main the main story is so standard and not wacky and weird. I kind of wonder if they missed the point. But then again, I haven't played enough Fallout games to know if I'm just full of shit on that perspective. Burnt books, none of those are overdue. Nope, just books. Oh, there's a vault. Another one of these. Collecting quite a few lunch boxes. I'm gonna have to make a room to put all them in a display case or something. But that's, what, that's always been one of my favorite things about, uh, Fallout, though, over Oblivion. Uh, no, I, was, I, was, I always want to say Oblivion because that's the one I played the most, but, uh, over Elder Scrolls is that, uh, there's just such a silliness to it. 
Hello? Wow, there's a lot of these. Not so long as you're carrying it. There's a cigarette, cigarettes and lighters. They were smoking on campus. Who's gonna bust them? Hello, friend. Die. 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 Anyone else? Oh no, I missed. I got it. 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 I got it, I got it. There we go. Thank goodness for vets. Who wants, to, who wants to deal with freaking, uh, explorers anyway? Explorers, what? Uh, who wants to deal with these guys? Why are all the books burned? I'm sort of questioning the concept that this whole place is burned out, but all the ghouls inside of it are totally safe. Unless the ghouls fed on all the children, and then they got the paste second hand, and that's why they're... ...pink. And maybe it didn't have anything to do with what, what made them ghouls in the first place. Maybe just ghouls fed on the paste, or people who... We're feeding on the paste, and that's what made the ghouls weird. Because, yeah, if this place is all... ...burned out like this, that would suggest that, uh... ...anything in here should be burned out. Which makes it hard to accept that there's even functioning bodies... ...to run around and, and be ghouls. If every book in the entire place is burned out. But... ...someone's just gonna get mad at me for uh, overanalyzing at that point, I'm sure. Hello, corpsey. Look at you with your funny hat. What are you, a ch what are you, a chimney sweep? <laughs> okay. Is that door open? Don't want don't, don't to miss this one. There we go. Nice. Hello. What have we here? Plungers, oh, pack of duct tape. Those things? Why not? All your plungers are belong to me. No one can stop me now. I am the Alpha and the Omega. What the hell is that? Nightmare Halloween decorations they got lying around here. Once the apocalypse happens, it's it's Halloween forever. And ever. Anything around here? Not much going on. Ooh, ammo. What's back there? That's at the front. I think, that, I think that's actually the front room. So we're kind of looping around now. We're probably getting just about done with the first floor. Oh, we got bugs! Where you at? I hear it in this direction. That goes back to the Commonwealth. It must be upstairs. It must be upstairs. Oh, the floor's all blown out, blown out in here. Hey, guys! Nope! There's something out. Um... Rapid fire mode. <laughs> there. I think we're gonna need it. Get fucked! There's a lot of pink goo monsters around here, aren't there? I'm beginning to grow concerned. More paste, please. I gotta take it back t back to town and feed it to my characters. I thought I was over-encumbered, but Nick was just running into me like a jackass. Where'd that- where'd the toy go? Oh no, where'd it go? I opened a vault tech lunchbox and I don't know what was in it. Was it the noodles? I don't see anything around here. They seem to just go flying out. Don't see anything on the ground here. Was it the hand? <laughs> uh, oh well. Oh, there was a, oh, there was a hand in there. It was a skeleton hand, though. Question is, was it a real one? Hey, they were experimenting on children. How does that get approved? It's one of those things that makes you start to wonder, hey, maybe the world a fallout was better off getting destroyed. Because it kind of seems like they might have been monsters. Looks like this is the back door to something. Oh yeah, it looks like it goes back to the beginning. So I accidentally went the right way around without hitting the dead end first. Hello. More announcements. Looks like two days later. Good morning, teachers and students. It is a fabulous Wednesday here at Suffolk County Charter School. The Glee Club is having their seasonal bake sale today. So stop by and show your support so we can send our team to the regionals. Oh. Remember, actual baked goods are no forbidden on that? school grounds. So they will be selling colorful cups for your food paste. Oh, also, we will be having a school assembly during second period tomorrow on the dangers of strangers by Jangles, the moon monkey himself. 
Once again, we would like to thank our benefactors from the NAPP program for allowing us to have a big star come and speak to you kids. They totally just talked about Stranger Danger. Who's a big ghoul? Where you going, buddy? You sneaking on by? Sneaking on by? Oh. What was that? Where'd that red dot go? It's like behind me now. Out of here. Yeah, there's definitely something above or below me. I can hear it in my ears and it's kind of bothering me. Where they're having our annual bake sale. Now, all baked goods are actually banned, so they're going to be selling colorful we're cups for your beach. food paste. That's just a nightmare. <laughs> that's 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 when you move, frankly. If they were letting their kids... If, I don't think... That, society probably wasn't all that great if this was something that was happening and people getting away with it. Hello, underground. Alright, that's worth investigating. That's definitely worth investigating. It's probably the sounds I'm hearing. It's probably the glowing one, frankly. It's, there's always a glowing one. I'm never happy to see them. But they just gotta rear their ugly faces. Hey, guys. What you got down here? Is this where they make the paste? How is there a lit lantern down here? Who lit the lantern? Who's been down here? Boop. Has it been lit for like hundreds of years? Is that what I'm supposed to think? Buddies. You coming at me? There you are. Got him. Creepy pink monsters. Grab me some coolant and some empty coolant. I'll take all the coolant. I'll take faux coolant. I'll take something that's vaguely like smells like coolant. I'll take hey pink man. Oh god. You got nothing. That was moderately unsuccessful. Grabbing toys now, huh? Probably not worth my time. But I don't feel like emptying it out until they actually make me. Hello, ammo. Thank you. We're getting quite the haul today from this little place. Anything about? More bags of cement, making this little underground place a little bit creepier. Hello. Got him. Yeah. Once I saw that, once I saw the enemy in that, I'm like, okay, I gotta make this happen, right? A wooden crate. Sweet. I just, dis I, I just opened it without checking if it was trapped. I probably should have checked if it was trapped, but I feel like they wouldn't trap... There'd have to be a story behind it if there was somehow a trap on a box that was like an explosive in a freaking, uh, like underneath a middle school, basically. Like, what, what went wrong to make that happen? Same time, though, I'm finding guns and ammo in a middle school, so maybe I shouldn't question it that thoroughly. Or charter school. I'll be honest, I don't know if I know what a charter school is. <laughs> Get out of here. Any more surprises around here? Hello. Oh, look at him dashing around. I went to an elementary school and a middle school and a high school and a college. I don't know what charter school actually means. Ooh, we got a core. Bam. Oh, mine. And now the lights are going out. Cool. Is it just me or is it... Usually the case that when I pull out a fusion core from a place, nothing changes, as if it wasn't doing anything. I feel like nothing usually even changes. Hello, this place just keeps going. Antifreeze. Oh, an elevator. Probably takes you back upstairs to the uh, top floor or something. What was that? Is that? Oh, tape. And bone saw. There we go. How do we get in there? Oh, terminal. Here we go. Gives me something to work with. Hey, uh, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy, buddy. I'll see what I can do, buddy, old friend. Remember? Can do. Nope, I meant to do. Eh, eh, no, don't inspect that. Da da <laughs> Few parts of this game aren't super well incorporated, are they? Hey, I want you to do terminal. Hey. Damn it, term. There we go. I think you can unlock that terminal. You gotta point at the terminal, but you can't just point at the terminal. You gotta point at the terminal from a specific direction, but also at a specific distance, because if you're too close to it, you'll hack it yourself instead of commanding it to it. It's like... 
Huh. Weird. Now how did you structure? They try, right? <laughs> ah, I see. Come on, Nick. There we go. Someone says that earlier when uh, Nick failed to hack something that apparently if I tried again he might have succeeded. Apparently he will. There's somewhere he will some sometimes fail and then give up and then come. Then you can tell him to do it again. And it's, it's actually like a percent chance. I kind of figured NPCs would just keep trying until they did it right, especially since their dialogue. Their dialogue kind of implies that by the fact that they sometimes he's clearly struggling with something, but then he'll go come through. So I did not know that was the case because I kind of just thought he would just keep trying. Oh no. We finally became over encumbered. We got a stealth boy. We got a few objects here. More food paste. Yes. All right, I'm gonna deal with this real quick. All right, good to go. I just went ahead and dropped that random musket we found at the Mirelurk place. Don't think it's super important. I'll be happy to accept the overdue book and so on. Don't know if that'll ever actually be useful for me again, but I'm grabbing them. All right, so over here. Oh nope. Let's go check out where that elevator leads us. This place is kind of extensive. Alright, elevator. What do you got for me? Going up. I'd be rather concerned if it was like, go going floor. down. I'm like, there's more down? What? Looks like we're taking the ele- Oh yeah! I remember being on the other side of that barricade. I grabbed ammo through it. So now it's finally time to check out the upstairs of this place. Any more baddies around? I've shot a lot of them. Expert, you say? Up for the challenge I am. Oops. Come on. Do it just for me, baby. No! There we go. Sweet. They didn't want it open. They should have bought a better lock, huh? Oh, hello. A rad roach. Stop it. Oh, damn it. There we go. I'll take your nuclear stuff. Get out of here. Microscope? Sure. I gotta be a little careful, because I am a little... I'm in the over-encumbrance territory. So the more things I grab like this, the more I'm actually getting in trouble there. Why would there be mole rat? That doesn't make sense. Game? You're not making sense. This place is full of zombies that have been here since the apocalypse happened, so that means there shouldn't be anything here from pa after the apocalypse, because who would be in here? So there shouldn't be mole rat meat, because mole rats didn't exist in, uh, Based on my understanding, they didn't exist until the radiation created them. So there wouldn't be raw mo mole rat meat in a lunchbox upstairs in the cafeteria, because they didn't exist back then. You can suppose... hello. You can suppose that the rat roaches found their way in here later. Uh... Because that's what roaches do. But uh, it'd be really strange... If there was mole rats in here before mole rats presumably existed, there's a lot of lunch boxes here. I'm gonna have quite a stash of those soon. Dead end. And that's where we went through the floor earlier. And all it's all connected. Oh, it's chained. We need to find our way around. There's the front entrance. This whole place is bigger than expected. Oven mitt. Wonder glue. I'm going to start skipping over more and more things just because we are definitely filling out, so random scavenging is fine. I do kind of just scavenge whatever I can find and just sort of see afterwards uh, if it allows me to build what I'd like to build. Got it. There we go. And I basically just prioritize things that seem like they might be a little bit more rare, because I'll absentmindedly pick up Ah, oh, damn it, that's not an overdue. It looked a little less burned to me. I guess I should also be concerned about all the rat away, because why would be why would rat away be a common occurrence in a pre-apocalypse environment? It's a little weird. You think that that would be a pretty unusual thing to find? Maybe, maybe I could maybe excuse one for weird scientific purposes. No, not even that. You wouldn't want to. Hello. You wouldn't even want to study rat away in this kind of location because you wouldn't want kids to be around to radiation sources where you would use rat away to learn. Like a more of a- oops. It's more of a college level thing, really, right? Oh, hello. Oh, floor's blown out over here. And this appears- yep, there's the change room. Hi, friends, I'm going this way. I'm going this way. You can come this way, too, if you want. Come on. I'm friendly. There we go. Hey, level 28. Sweet. I 
Got him. I'm surprised they'll grab their crotch when you shoot them. Do they feel anything about that? Oh no. No, 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 no. Hey, look, it's the thing I said was happening. Look, it happened. Please die, please die, please die, 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 die. There we go. Obviously, I overreacted a bit to uh, glowing ones because they haven't been a problem as much lately. But early on, they were a real problem. So I don't like being in the vicinity. All right, it says we've taken out the problem. I don't trust them fully, though. I think that the quest is just mapped to clear the moment you kill the glowing one. But there could totally still be more around. But let's see what we can find around here. Man, burnt, how burnt. Nice this place would have been without all the cannibals. These shelves look pretty okay for considering they're cover they're completely uh, stocked with burnt textbooks. Ah, oh, hey, book return machine. Might as well find out if there's actually a prize worth looking at. Uh, return over two books. Bam, twenty more. That means we had four. Uh, food paste. Undamaged baseball glove. All right. Uh, goodbye forever. You have nothing to offer me. At least I was able to convert books into tokens. There's the front door. Oh, hello. That's more what I was looking for. Oops. Excellent. Permanently gain one percent chance of avoiding old damage from an ooh from an attack. Cool. Happy Friday, all. The NAPP program launched this week with success, but not without problems. I hate to have to throw away your mother's carefully packed lunches, but I am afraid we must put our foot down on this issue. I am assured all of you will get used to the flavor of the pace. Also, I have been informed that flavor varieties will be on their way pending continued success of the program. How exciting! To those complaining, I will repeat. There are absolutely no psychological or physical side effects from participation in the NAPP. Any observed effect is assuredly psychosomatic, and possibly related to a lack of trust in the government. Remember, our participation in the NAPP not only helps our school, but in the long run benefits our nation. Thank you for your attention. This is Principal Hudson, Signing off. Yep, only gets creepy over time. Oh, well, canister. Only gets creepier when they're like trying to deny that there could, anything could possibly be wrong with the whole situation. Yeah, no big deal. We're just testing f creepy, weird food products on our children. What could go wrong? Dropped a few more things real quick, and then immediately grabbing more heavy. Oh, oh right, I dropped death. I dropped some meat. I was like, what the fuck's going on? I was like, why is there giant slabs of meat in here? Because apparently I don't know how to do, uh... Oh, sure. Okay, that was not cool. I didn't like that. Like <laughs> that was a bit of a surprise. Too. What's in there? Have I been there yet? I think I've been in there. I think. Anyway, I don't even remember what I was talking about a moment ago. Just gonna have to abandon that forever. Oh, damn it, I've done it again. Alright, well, just gonna keep digging this deeper. You know what? You can't stop me. I'm just gonna use a buff out. Boom! We're almost done here anyway, right? Let's just finish. Alright, what's over here? Hit. Um, can I walk along here? Yes. Jump. Sweet. Where am I now? Oh, there's the stairs from the elevator. Okay, we're good to go then. So I believe I've cleared this whole floor, so let's hop down. Yep, front door. Oh, did I not have access to the stairs at first? Oh no, I could totally walk up here. I was wondering for a second there, because it, it looked like a, a drop-off point, like maybe I had dismissed going that direction at first, but maybe could have to totally gone there at the, from the beginning. Oh, Protectron. Could have activated that, don't feel like dealing with that right now. Yeah, I can tell you to do it. Nick? Hey, what's the plan? See there you go. You do. Go do things. Because you're not going to do much else right now, I don't think. Do... If I finish up fast enough, I can warp back to a town and dump off all my stuff. Is this the... Oh, that's the that's the hole we went down. Uh, that that well, closes the loop on this whole place. Yeah, I don't know. It's all I mean, cool. it's pretty sweet protector on, right? 
think we're good to go though. I'm out of here. Alright, so I am going to... I'm gonna go ahead and warp out of here, and I'm gonna dump all of my salvage and stuff like that, so that we can go back to walking normally. But with that place cleared... Well, actually, I'm gonna go back to here real quick to support my... to say that we succeeded, but... Uh, next episode should start right here, and we're going to... Yeah, we're gonna go from here to the Quincy Police Station and finish this loop that we set ourselves on so long ago. It's kind of nice. I kind of like setting up a path and just following through with it for several episodes. There's a nice continuity to it, because the game otherwise is, is very episodic and jumping around to random locations and stuff. No, the buff out is gone! Although if these guys join me in a moment, then I'll be able to just use that. Were you able to use clear that. out those ghouls? Took care of those ghouls that were giving you trouble. You did? Well, that's great news. Fella, you and the Minutemen have our gratitude and our support. Sweet, he's probably part of our group now. Can I use this now? Oh yeah, this place is ours now. Alright, well I might as well go ahead and just store my junk then. I'll set up a... I'll set up a path. Uh, I'll go to one of the higher populated ones and send someone over here to deal with that. But for now, I'm at least safe to continue forward because that stuff's dumped off. So, thanks for watching like always guys. We're going to start the next episode at the school and continue towards the police station. And I will see you guys next time.